Good morning, family. This is Derek Smoking Jones. Well, I guess y'all know that. And I don't usually do this, but I got to do this this time because I've been working on different projects and events, you know, to help out my fellow brothers, you know, to get exposure and um, a lot of other things, you know. You know, I'll be up till two, three, four o'clock in the morning sometimes trying to get these things done. And just like tonight, you know, I, I went to bed this morning around three in the morning just, just trying to work on things to show love and unity. And some of the first things I look at on Facebook, you know, Facebook is kind of like reading a newspaper now, you know, I see where guys are still hating on each other and not liking one another and, you know, pouring salt and pissing on each other. So, you know, this is not common for me. I don't do the video thing. You know, when I do posts, it's usually concerning my blog or questions, you know, that come up that I feel that would help guys in the DJ and producer industry out you know to help us out you know to have a better understanding and i'm pretty sure this is going to upset some people but you know what god has for me he has for me and that's part of what i'm gonna talk about today you know some of you all are the most selfish self-centered egotistical just unappreciative ungrateful bastards I have ever met in my life I cannot understand why it's so hard and so I can't even I'm trying not to cuss man because I'm saying I'm, I'm just that I'm just that angry I can't understand why it's so hard and that nobody can see that this industry cannot will not grow at all the way we want it to because we have no unity. We cannot put aside our differences, so help me God, that is a shame. We cannot work together and unify. It's only a few of us on here to constantly talk about unifying and working together and everybody else hey you know what that's them i'm gonna stay over here i'm still a house divided it tells you in the word a house divided cannot stand it can't stand you can't build a house on quicksand you can't build a house on something that is not solid if you don't have a solid foundation it will fall part of the foundation are the people that join together to make something happen. It's billions, billions, hear me, billions of dollars out here to be made, and we fighting each other over this club, over this little tavern, over this little lounge, or whatever the case may be, for what? Pennies and no respect. You go there, they hoe you out, you, you get paid $75, they walk away with $5,000, and then you got nerve enough to turn up your nose at another DJ or producer because you in a little spot, a little chitlin' circuit spot. Hey, if that's what makes you happy, that's fine. I'm for the bigger picture. I'm about uniting. The only way this whole movement is going to make it and everybody makes money is you have to work together. Y'all dissing guys because, you know, oh, well, so-and-so going out of town and he doing this and she doing that. But ha, 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 they ain't, you know, they ain't getting that kind of money. And did you see where they were staying at that old raggedy ass spot? Well, you know, at the end of the day, they got out of town. They were able to go to Germany, Iceland, Paris, France, New York, wherever you didn't get to go a lot of y'all didn't even get a chance to play outside of the south side of chicago and you got nerve to talk crap about somebody that did a lot of times we make it because of the contacts and the relationships that we form with people that's nobody's fault you get out there you grind and you get yours 
is flipping it around a little bit. Those of us that do get a chance to get out and grind and do things and have people bless us. God says, hey, you can't get anything with a closed hand. Give, be a giver, share information. And the sad thing is y'all too selfish to do that. You know why? Because you're too damn worried about somebody taking something from you. Anybody trying to take nothing from you. What God has for you is yours. That's proven on Facebook every day and in the newspaper and in the magazines and in books and on television. How people give out free information every single day on how to be successful and how to do things. And everybody that applies it, it don't always happen for them. Why? Because that was not for them. So what is for you is going to be for you. So you don't have to worry about somebody taking something from you. You shouldn't have to turn down your nose at your fellow brothers and sisters is out here trying to grind and work hard and do the things that they need to do to get out and get themselves out because you went on a trip or uh, you flew to New York or you flew to Paris or you flew to Germany and now all of a sudden you feel like you better than everybody else. So it goes both ways. Y'all need to wake the hell up, man, for real. I don't never get this mad about nothing, but this time I had to say something. I love everybody. I try and work with everybody. People get attitudes. People get jealous. People turn their nose up because they feel like, oh, you know, he did this or he did that or he think he this or he think he that. At the end of the day, you don't know me. And I always say a prayer, and a lot of y'all need to say the same prayer. And one part of that prayer I always say is, God, remove those from me that will hinder my growth, my success, my health. Take them away from me. Make my enemies my footstool. Those that mean bad for me, turn it around for my good. Those that are good and healthy for me, Father God, keep them in my life. Keep them in my life so that I may grow. Keep them in my life so I can continue to bless others. That's what you all need to be doing. We can't make money the way we're doing it. We can't. Be blessed.